I was like a bigger kid that bullies others and then sometimes they're usually getting bullied themselves in other places. Gary is interesting with some of his behaviors with, uh, you know, name calling, the, the threatening others, the picking fights with others. Seems like he would fit, you know, what we call conduct disorder. Interesting how he changed his story about like, kicking him out and now he's like their best friend. Hi, welcome to Experts React. I'm Dr. Earl Turner, also known as Dr. Earl. I'm a clinical psychologist and founder of Therapy for Black Kids. Today, we're going to be checking out the game Bully. All right, let's go. Jimmy, please say something. What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like it's a nice introduction to the stepfather. So the beating, I don't know if that's a good idea. It's not gonna form a good relationship. I think, you know, sending a kid away to boarding school might help, but also, you know, as a parent, once that child gets back, they still have to like adjust to your consequences. So they may do okay at the boarding school and what those rules are, but once they come back home, you still have to be consistent with how you're like implementing your own rules and enforcing those with, you know, with the child as well. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. It's nice to be happy when you're leaving your friends and family around, right? So you must be Hopkins. Uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. So he's the head rule enforcer in chief. It's a nice welcome to the school. It's okay to be like firm. I don't know if the um, language that he's using is like a good welcome. I think that that also might be a little bit verbal aggression on the account of the headmaster, which, you know, sort of mirrors maybe some of the things that the child is already doing. It depends on if you're going to like, like what happens is this like threat that you're not going to do anything about or are there some consequences to it? So I think it's appropriate to like have consequences for behaviors, but if you're just like threatening people to do certain things, that's not going to help change the child's behavior long term. Um, I think, you know, when people come into new situations, they always want to see, like, is this person going to be someone that I can pick on, especially in, in this particular situation? And so I think trying to find out, is this person going to be someone that I will get along with, someone I won't get along with? And I think that's sort of typical in terms of how we, we interact with people that we don't know. That's a hard question. I think on one hand, you know, oftentimes as parents, like we teach our kids, like don't be aggressive or don't hit other people. But at the same time, if someone is doing something towards you, like you have to defend and protect yourself. So I think if you don't respond to the bully in that situation, there's a highly likelihood that he's going to continue to like repeat those behaviors and continue bullying. But if you stand up, sometimes that oftentimes makes the bully, you know, back down a little bit and not try to continue to bully you. Break it up! Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately! At least the teacher stepped in. Go easy or they put you on medication. You trying to be a friend or trying to get him on his side? Hey man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western. He's had a, a tough childhood, it seems like. It. Parents put him in the boarding school. He doesn't want to be there. So it's interesting to put a bunch of people who may bully in the same sort of space together. That's Russell's locker. It's a tough guy in school. I was like a bigger kid that bullies others and then sometimes they're usually getting bullied themselves in other places. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. So Gary's introducing him to the school, I see. I think, you know, cliques sometimes are seen as like a bad thing, but in reality, um, trying to like connect with people that have similar interests as you, I think it's pretty common. And in school, it's like one of the first situations where you begin to like make your connections and those friend groups sometimes will continue in, into adulthood. And, and you learn how to like find people that, that sort of connect with you um, on different levels. So I think, you know, it's expected that, you know, there are going to be these uh, groups of people that have similar interests that sort of get turned in similar ways that was identified, you know, the jocks, the popular kids, etc. The jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. You know, that's tough. I think if, if you are a bystander and you're watching someone get bullied, um, that it can be helpful sometimes to step in to like stop it or, you know, find an adult to intervene. But at the same time, I think for kids, if you are the bystander and you step in, then sometimes that puts you um, in a situation where then you become someone who's getting bullied in that situation. So um, it's sort of tough to decide, you know, do you step in to stand up for someone else or, you know, be quiet so that you sort of prevent yourself from being bullied. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What? He wants to be in charge of everybody. It's a, a very aggressive. It's interesting that they're sort of friends, but he constantly like picks on them all the time. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. Doesn't seem like this school is actually helping change you know, their behaviors and making them better. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Petey. Ah, oh, peace stain. Good to see you. 
seems like Gary wants to be in charge and get everybody on his side, but he's not really doing anything to take over the school, so to speak. Why don't you go yourself? I've got homework. <laughs> Um, Gary is interesting. It's hard to like diagnose not not knowing the complete backstory to him, but just sort of looking at some of his behaviors with uh, you know name calling, the, the threatening others, the picking fights with others. Seems like he would fit you know what we call conduct disorder. So conduct disorder is a um, diagnosis, childhood diagnosis that we um, have in our DSM, which is the Bible of psychiatric uh, diagnosis. And um, a lot of the criteria that I mentioned are some of the things that Gary fit in terms of. I mean, obviously, he's in this school, and so he um, has experience with bullying and that's one of the uh, criteria for that um, disorder picking fights threatening others wanting to um, engage in possible truancy there was I think one incident where he sort of skipped um, school so those are some of the classic symptoms related to conduct disorder so Jimmy boy here we are the hole the place where this school separates the men from the boys the wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense it's like a mixed martial arts cage ladies and Gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh man. So why does he fight Russell? <laughs> Gary wants to take over, but he's not the person that's fighting Russell. Gary has this history, seems like it, of, of bullying other people. And so I think sometimes people go along with some of the things because they see that, you know, it's going to create less problems for them if, if they just hang out with this person as opposed to like be their enemy, so to speak. And so it seems like people are sort of are easily on his side um, in some of these situations. I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. She's so trying to stand up to the bully. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. He's an interesting headmaster. Seems like he, like, engages in some bullying. He's interesting at the beginning, he was like, he was gonna clean his nose, and now he's, like, kicking out of the school. The thing is, if I win, you're just another punk! You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Seems like a really bad idea standing on the top of the building. I heard the whole thing. You're expelled. Come on, untie me, boy. Yes, sir. Interesting how he changed his story about kicking him out and now he's like their best friend. Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty logical in terms of, you know, the environment at the school, the clicks that they showed, um, seeing how, you know, Jimmy was standing up to the bully and, you know, protecting himself when they were trying to attack him in, in situations. So it seems pretty accurate in terms of like, this might actually happen in real life. So it was great checking out Bully, seeing the experiences of some kids in schools and also seeing how people can just sort of go through the scenarios and fight, you know, for themselves when they're being attacked. For more experts react, check our Gameology on Facebook and YouTube. And if you want to find out more about my work, you can also connect with me on social media at Dr. Earl Turner, or you can find me on YouTube at Dr. Earl Turner. See you next time. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Welcome to Experts React. My intro. Today we're watching the game. We're checking out the game Bully. He didn't back down, so I guess that's expected given the situation.